All right, guys, welcome back to Thula's Creative. Today we're here with a Barrett's Quicksilver archery set. That I got for my birthday. So, we, put, we painted a little... We haven't got, an, we haven't got a, uh, a target yet, so at this stage we've found a tree with super soft bark and we've put a little mark on there. So let's talk to our viewers about the Barrett's Quicksilver bow and arrow. Straight out of the packet, pretty easy. It uh, came fully assembled except the sight pin and the arrow guide so depending whether you're left or right-handed you can they put it on either side either side clipped on super easy um so what safety tips do we have to uh tell our viewers today about archery sets yep um <coughs> ne ne never never shoot it without an arrow inside that's right never do a dry fire it always has and to have an arrow there's a warning there my well, dad will put the Put the link of the bow and arrow in the description. Yeah, absolutely. So if people are interested, they can check it out. You know, over the years, we've had heaps of plastic rubbish sets, but this is a great entry-level real deal. What's number two safety rule? Probably the most important safety rule of any archery play. Um, so <laughs> probably just... Maybe you always need to have good visibility of your target and well past your target. Make sure there's no animals and no people anywhere near. I mean, these sets can shoot well over 50 metres, so we need to be super sure there is no one in sight. Let's show the viewers how you load your arrow so and get ready for business. First of all, there's a green, there's two green and a black. Always make sure the black is facing you. Yeah, that's a great start. So and then the arrow see, slides in. It does. In there. Now, how do we aim a bow and arrow to help us try to get it into the bullseye? With this. <laughs> I've got a little sight pin. How do we use a sight pin? You get the little circle, and then you put it, you aim for the bullseye. All right. Now, how do we make the arrow go further or shorter? I'll show you a short version and then a long version. That sounds great. And then how do you hold the finger guides at the back? So, you put... There's a top one and then there's a bottom one. So you put the top one, then then two bottom, then you pinch your fingers together. And that's certainly one of the reasons we decided to get the Barrett's Quicksilver. The rolling finger guides actually seem like a great way to help the kids get into archery. Now, we have had a couple of test shots here before this video. So let's see what it's all about. Here we go. Oh, another thing. Um, if you have two people... Like me and my dad today, um, oh, um, always still well aware back from the other person. Definitely well back, and we never retrieve the arrows until all of the arrows in our kit have been fired. Um, now these kits did only come with two arrows, but uh, I think another three arrows we might have been able to get for around twenty or twenty-five dollars. So uh, at BCF, at BCF or Anaconda, that's right. So I reckon we'll go and load up this afternoon. Um, so um, before you shoot it. Um, you're like, Thor is creative. What are you doing? You put one, you put your, this hand. Yep, so your non-dominant hand. That would mean if you're right-handed, you'd hold the arrow, uh, the, the bow with your left hand. And then. And then we're going to pull the string with your dominant hand or your right hand. That is a great shot, a great start. It was an excellent line. So now we need to think about that little sight pin in the middle yeah. and then it didn't quite go far enough so i think we'll pull this one back just a little bit harder and see what happens oh we're almost in the tree what a great start do you want to run and fetch those couple of arrows and let's have another go show yeah. all your viewers all right here we go let's think about some elevator music while we're waiting Dad, we're already back with Thor's Creative. That was super speed. What do you have to say to your fans and subscribers today, guys? Um, go like and subscribe. Um, and go check out Tipple Canoop and Cyber Five. Um, Excellent, some great beginner YouTube channels there. Be sure to check out that Cyber 5 yep. and Typical Noob. Luckily, it's school holidays here in Melbourne, Australia, so plenty of activities to do. We've had some reviews on water slides. We've done plenty of basketball, and now we're moving into archery. All right, let's have another go. Let's see if we can't hit that tree. 
my goal bar today is at least get an arrow to stick in the tree. That is actually a great goal. Once you get good, we're very lucky here at Thor's Creative to have lots of space. So it can be super safe archery. We'll get a target in the next couple of days. You and then see us um, bang. And then we'll be away. It looks like Army Disposal has got a target for about 180, which seems like a lot for a uh, target, but uh, that might be tomorrow's venture. Here we go. So we need to pull it back a little bit further. He's got the tree. What a perfect line. That is a great shot. Let's zoom into that one, guys. Almost directly under the bullseye. If it was a bit higher, it would have almost It would have been, been a bullseye. bullseye. So what do we need to do this time to make it go a little bit higher, buddy? Um, so I was thinking it like that. I think I need to aim it up a little Definitely bit. Definitely aim it up a little bit. That's it. That was really good. You must have used their eyesight perfectly that time. Oh, watch out. Flies get really annoying when you're trying to concentrate. There is a few flies at Thulis Creative, but here we go. So I can aim a little bit higher, get that right in the middle. Oh, that was actually a really good height. Tough shot. Well, that's been a great introduction to the Barrett's Quicksilver Archery Set. They're, they're very nice bows. They come in, I think, only green. Um, You can get an orange one from BCF. Yeah, I wonder what the and, difference and between the orange set is. Maybe we'll get an orange set for your... Uh, for Cyber 5, your big brother, and let's maybe we can do a review on the orange one. But this has been a great start, and it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. And it was my birthday yesterday, and I did get this for my birthday. It's probably one of the best presents ever. You've been wanting one for quite a while. Yeah. So I don't know. These are rated from ages 5 to 8. Uh, Thor's Creative turned 9, but we still think this is the, the best bow for him to learn on. It's, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Peace.